Hey guys, it's Danielle, and today I'm going to talk about my top 10 favorite musicals. Now, I did already film this video, but I decided that I did not like the lighting situation where I was at before, and so I'm trying filming in front of my window now to get some better lighting. So we're going to redo this, and it's going to be better this time. We're going to go with that. It's going to be better this time. I have my notes right here ready to go. So we're going to start at number 10. Number 10 for my favorite musicals is one that comes back from my childhood. It's one that I loved growing up. It's Grease. Grease was my favorite as a kid, just like I said. I watched the movie a ton of times as a kid. I did not get half of it as a child. It's literally in the most couple, the most recent years that I have gotten like half of the stuff in that book in that book, in that m musical, but still, I really love it, it's, it's got a special place in my heart, I know it's not, like, it's, it's got its problems, I'm, I'm aware of that, but nostalgia makes me still just really love it, and number nine on this list is a much newer one, it is Mean Girls, which is currently on Broadway, it is a musical adaptation and modernization of the 2004, I think, movie. I think it was made in 2004. It was written still by Tina Fey. Just as good as the original movie. I I love it a lot. Um, I listen to the songs all the time. My favorite song in there is I'd Rather Be Me, which is sung by Janice, um, or World Burn, which is one of Regina's songs. I really, really enjoyed that one. I actually saw it twice in one day where my mom and I were in New York for a while and we were just kind of like walking towards the August Wilson. We'll do the cancellation for the evening show, we thought, and so we were just like hanging out over in that area until it started. But we ended up getting there right at like 1.59, one minute before the matinee started and the lady was out there being like, hey, I have one ticket, do you want it? And my mom was just like, go. So I went and I saw it and it was amazing and then while I was doing the stage door after the show my mom got in line for the cancellation line for the evening show and so we ended up being like third in line for the cancellation line and we ended up getting standing room and so we got to stand in the back of the orchestra and watch the show and then for the second act they actually found a seat so we got to sit down which was really cool. Um, but yeah so I saw it twice in one day. I was kind of hoping there was going to be like an understudy on for the evening so that way it would be a little different, but it was the same. It was still really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, that's number nine. I'm trying to like make sure you can see my ponytail so I don't look bald, but it's whatever. Number eight is The Black Suits. The Black Suits is one that I haven't actually been able to see. It had a workshop in like 2012 and a production in LA in 2013, but that's pretty much all that's been done. There's not a whole lot of content out there for it, but what I have seen I really, really enjoy. It was written by one of my favorite Broadway composers, Joe Iconis. He's also done um, Be More Chill, Broadway Bounty Hunter, Rewrite, um, he's done a lot. Um, and so it's written by him. I really, really love it. My favorite song in that one is called Old Records Remind Me. If I could speak, Old Records Remind Me um, is really good. It's about a bunch of kids who live in Long Island and they're in a rock band and they're going to, for this battle of the bands and they're also kind of having to deal with the fact that like college is coming up soon and what do you do when like all you want to do is be in a band with your friends and you don't really want to do anything else. Um, but yeah, it's really really good. There are songs on YouTube that you can go listen to. Number seven is Into the Woods. Into the Woods is one that I loved in high school a lot and it still is really, really close to me. It's a Sondheim musical. Sondheim is, I love Sondheim. Um, but it was one that my best friend actually showed me in between shows when we were in the Crucible my freshman year. And we just like were sitting backstage in our costumes, eating dinner listening to Into the Woods and that's just a really nice memory that I remember and we like had little parties where we would watch the movie because there's a movie like a professionally filmed video of the stage show and so we watched that. Um, I just I really really love Into the Woods. It's a 
mashup of a bunch of different fairy tales. It's got like Cinderella, Snow White, Jack and the Beanstalk, Little Red Riding Hood. It's got all of these in them. Um, it's really, really good. Um, my favorite song in that one is Agony. Agony is my favorite song in Agony Reprise. So good. So good. I always wanted to be the witch. Um, I was always like, I was hoping we were going to do it one year for school so that I could be the witch, but it never happened. Number six on my list is another one that I got into in high school that is Rent. Rent was one that I actually somehow did not find out about until my senior year. I had like heard of it. I had never actually gotten into it, but then we did it in my vocal class. It was like a whole class thing where it was part of a grade to be in the production and I ended up being the student slash assistant director and the stage manager for the show which was really really fun it was a really fun way to sort of learn the show and um, it's just it's got a special place in my heart and I'm just saying I liked Rent Live. I don't care what anyone else says I thought it was good it did have some issues I will not disagree with that but I love Rent Live Jordan Fisher as Mark was amazing. Just saying. Number five on my list is Next to Normal. This one, I don't even know what words to say. I love Next to Normal so much. I Am the One and I Am the One Reprise are like my favorite, probably some of my favorite musical songs ever. They're so good. They're so good. Aaron Tevet is so good. Jennifer Damiano, so good. Alice Ripley. They're all so good. <laughs> Maybe if I could find actual words. So um, if you don't know, Next to Normal is about a family um, who is just kind of trying to get by and the mom is suffering from various mental illnesses and it's sort of having to cope with that and how that affects her husband and her daughter and kind of goes with that. It's very, very powerful. It's very sad, um, but it's a really good time. It's a really good time. Number four on my list is Heathers. This um, is a much more recent one, obviously. Um, it's just been in the past year or so. I particularly really, really love Heathers UK. I've been listening to that album nonstop since it's come out. Which I think it'd be really interesting to do a sort of compare and contrast between Heather's Off-Broadway and Heather's UK. I might do something about that. Um, but I just really, really love Heather's. I really love the costumes, especially Heather Chandler's costume. I love it. Um, I just really love the music. I think it's really fun. I have never actually seen the movie Heather's. And I don't really have a whole lot of interest in seeing the movie. But I really do love the musical. Number three is Dear Evan Hansen. Dear Evan Hansen is one that I have seen twice on Broadway. I saw it back last April and then I saw it just a few weeks ago slash a month ago depending on when this goes up. I really really love Dear Evan Hansen a lot. It's very sad. It's one that I could not see a million times especially not in like a close amount of time but it's so powerful, it makes me sob. I'm not doing really great with giving you summaries about these, but I feel like everyone kind of knows what Dear Evan Hansen is about. Um, I really love Michael Lee Brown as Evan, like, a lot. Um, I saw him the second time I saw the show, and I... I love him. I also would be really interested... I might... Oh, I'm coming up with ideas right here. I might do a compare and contrast between like the two different casts because I saw almost completely different casts the, between the two times that I've seen the show so that might be really interesting um but I really really love it good for you is my favorite that song is a banger I love it so much that it is like the best song the best song I will fight anyone who says otherwise good for you is the best song Heidi is the best character pulling up my list even though I know what the next one is, right? Yeah. The next one on my list is The Lightning Thief Musical. This is one that sort of resurged my love of musical theater. I've always really loved theater. I 
did it for about like nine years from ages like 9 to 18 but then after I went to college I kind of stopped doing it and I sort of not necessarily fell out of love with it but just wasn't looking for new shows so it was just kind of like when I was in a theatery mood I would just go back and listen to like Into the Woods I'd go back and listen to Legally Blonde I'd go back and listen to stuff that I already knew and loved instead of trying to find new stuff but then I found out that The Lightning Thief of the Percy Jackson musical was going off Broadway and I was kind of like I have to see that. <laughs> so I took a little trip to New York City and I saw that and it really like resurged my love of theater. I was obsessed with that for months and then I like ended up really just finding a bunch of whole new shows that I love and have just sort of like really dove straight in to the theater world again which I'm really really happy for. The Lightning Thief is a adaptation of the first Percy Jackson novel. It is so good. It is a beautiful adaptation. It's so accurate. The acting is amazing. I'm going to see the tour this year in June. I cannot wait. I will die. I can't even describe like how good it is. It's so accurate. They literally take so many lines straight from the books into the musical. Even lines that you wouldn't remember so it's almost like they don't have to put those lines in because like no one's gonna be like oh that's the line from the book but then you go and like read the book after you see the show and it's like oh that line was in the show oh that line was in the show because after I saw it I ended up like listening to all the Percy Jackson books on audiobook again and I would just like be listening to one in like book four and then hear a line and be like that was in the musical it's so good it's so clear that the writers of the show are fans I just really love the Percy Jackson musical okay okay and the last one on my list number one my favorite musical of all time I have something I can hold up to showcase my love can you see it without the glare be more chill be more chill this is the vinyl that I have it is beautiful it's beautiful I love it it sounds amazing when you listen to it on the vinyl. Be More Chill is described as a mix between Little Shop of Horrors and Dear Evan Hansen. It's so good. I've seen it nine times now and I'm planning on seeing it two more times. I'm going to New York for my birthday and I'm going to go see it then. Um, but it is my favorite thing ever. It's so good. It's about a boy named Jeremy who is pretty much a loser, very average, and he really wants to become popular and become more than what he is and he finds out about this pill-sized computer that you can ingest and it implants itself in your brain and then tells you what to do, how to be cool, how to better yourself, and basically he does that and then it all goes wrong, basically is what happens. It's so good. It just recently went to Broadway. It's opening this week. It's opening this week. I'm going to the first performance after opening which is really really exciting um it's so good it's just I can't even I love everything about it I love every song I love all the characters I love the changes it's made that is a video that will be coming out sometime after I see the show again a comparison between the original production the off-broadway production and the Broadway production it's coming just you wait I will do it for you I could talk about the show forever and ever and ever. I've listened to the album countless times. Like I said, I'm see I've seen it nine times. I'm going to have seen it two more times. I'll overall have seen it eleven times at the very least. If my phone was over here, I would show you how the background of it is the poster for B Marcho. But I don't have that right here, so it's okay. But it's okay. So yeah, so those are my top 10 favorite musicals of all time. I would really love to hear what kind of musicals you like, what ones you think maybe I would like based off of these ones. Yeah, so let me know what you think and I will talk to you guys soon with a new video. Bye!